There are a lot of new features packed into iOS 13, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the ones that I think you're actually going to care about. That's coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hi everyone, David A. Cox here, and today I'm teaching you my favorite new features that you're going to find in iOS 13. So without any further ado, let's begin the class. The first several new features that we're going to talk about today are all in settings. And of course, I welcome you to follow along at home. Let's start by talking about the automatic dark mode. You'll find this feature built inside display and brightness. And what I really like here is the automatic feature so that your device can automatically switch into dark mode either after the sun sets or at a time that you designate. This is really great as far as helping people be able to get to sleep at night by allowing their brains to shut down. You should also know that you can very quickly switch between light or dark mode if you go into control center and then 3D touch on the brightness controls. Speaking of the ability to get a little sleep, if your phone is currently being spammed to death by robocalls, you're going to love this next feature. If you go into the phone settings, you'll now see a new option to silence unknown callers. Now this feature is disabled by default, so if you do want to utilize it, you just need to flip it on. Take that, Russia! The next new feature that I want to turn you on to is the new battery health feature. So let's go here into settings and go to battery and then tap into battery health. You'll see this new feature here to optimize battery charging. As you can see here, my iPhone shows a maximum capacity of 98%, which is pretty darn good, especially considering how much use my phone gets. What I did want to say is that if you have an older iPhone and that number is significantly lower, that might be a good indication determine whether or not it's time to upgrade to a newer iPhone. Or if you want to go with the more economical option, you can also just get a simple battery case. I'll post links to a couple of my favorites down below, but obviously it does depend on which model iPhone you do have. One really cool feature to come to Siri is the ability to directly tune into your favorite radio station. What I also love about this is that you can pull data from iHeartRadio or TuneIn without the need to download either of those apps. One of the features I'm really happy to see in iOS 13 is the ability to much more easily select multiple items. Let me give you an example. Before, if you wanted to delete a bunch of emails or text messages, you had to do this one by one. But now you can just simply tap with two fingers and drag down or up and you can select multiple items and delete. The next feature that I wanted to highlight is for our female viewers. You'll be very happy to know that you no longer need to rely on third party apps. Apple is now finally offering menstrual cycle tracking and prediction, which you will find here in the health app. I tried to use this feature, but apparently Apple has informed me that my eggs have turned into tumbleweeds. Shifting over to the iPad for a moment, I think one of my favorite overall features is the ability to add widgets to the home screen. To access this, just swipe from left to right while your iPad is in landscape mode. You can pin which widgets you want to keep visible at the top by scrolling to the very, very bottom of this list and then tap edit. Just be aware this feature only works when your iPad is in landscape mode. The next two features that we're going to talk about are here in the notes app. The first is that you can now have shared folders so that you can collaborate with other people. So for example, if you have a spouse and you want to share something like a grocery list, this is a very easy way to set that up. Now, in some situations, you may not want the other person to be able to make changes to your notes. And if that is the case, you will also see an option to change the permissions. The last new feature here in notes is that if you do use a checklist, now automatically checked items will move to the bottom of the list. If you do use Safari as your primary browser, there are a few new features built in, including a built-in download manager, which I have to say, as much as I don't love Safari, is pretty cool. So now if you want to download files from the web, you can just tap on the link and you can save them directly into iCloud Drive. If you ever need to scan documents, you're going to really love this next feature. Now from inside the Files app, you can go here at the very bottom to where it says Browse, then tap on those three dots that you see at the top right to reveal the ability to scan a document directly to iCloud Drive. You could do this before, but only from inside the Notes application, which I never quite understood. I also want to mention that if you use things other than iCloud Drive, like for example, Google Drive, you can also save those scanned documents into that location. Now, I noticed when I tried to do this with Dropbox, it wouldn't allow me to do it, but I'm guessing that's just because Dropbox hasn't updated their app. So my guess is that that feature is coming soon. There is a new app called Find My, which combines the Find My Friends app with Find My iPhone. 
One of the new features here is that this app now uses Bluetooth to communicate with other iOS devices, and that includes devices other than your own. What this basically translates to is this. If you're thinking about stealing someone's iPhone, iPad, or Mac, don't. You're gonna get caught. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider taking a quick moment to hit that thumbs up like button down below, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching everyone, this is David Acox with Tech Talk America, class dismissed.